Hello everyone, uh, this is a short product overview of the Image Raspberry Pi Centaur 1.0.3 server. Once the product is purchased, uh, you, can head, uh, you can head on to your accounts download section and you'll be presented with a number of files. The files listed here is primarily the setup uh, document which guides you step for step of importing your credential file which is also listed here after you've downloaded it and if you've purchased any additional documents or, or, or any items when checking out they will also be listed here all right so once you've uh, downloaded your credential file you import it into FileZilla once it's imported into FileZilla you can then access your zip file which contains your uh, Raspberry Pi image and you can then download your file. Once your file is downloaded one then extracts the image file. Once the image file has been extracted we use a product called Win32 uh, Disk Imager. It's an open source tool all of the tools that we're covering in, in this video are available as open source tools and they're also available as free bonus tools in the available options download section when making your purchase. Uh, essentially we select the drive letter of the card reader. We then direct it to the image that we've uh, extracted and we then click right. Once the image is written to the micro SD card, we then eject it and we insert it into our Raspberry Pi 3 Model B or Raspberry Pi 2 Model B. So over here we have the Raspberry Pi 3 with a network connection powered up with one of these images deployed. Um, the initial uh, logon to the Raspberry Pi will give us the IP address by typing in the command ifconfig. We then use that IP address to access the Pi both from a browser and for shell access. Um, we initially expand the file system uh, by typing the command uh, raspberry config um, which is documented in the setup guide. To expand the file system. Once the file system is expanded, the Pi then reboots and we can then access the Pi from the URL. Here we've typed in the IP address uh, as you can see and we are presented with the logon screen of the Centora control panel. Um, the default passwords are on the Raspberry Pi so we'll start a SSH session and we will log in as root with password raspberry. The two usernames and passwords for the Pi def uh, on default is Pi and root and both of their passwords are raspberry. You may change this to suit your needs. Um, the uh, time zone data can also be changed. Uh, the method of changing this is also listed in the documentation. Alright, what, we, what we're going to do is we are going to uh, list a file called passwords text which is included in the root home directory and it gives you the passwords and credentials that you need for your device. Once you have those credentials you can head on over to your control panel and you can log in to your Centora control panel. Alright, from here, setting up of domains, mail accounts, databases, database users, um, reseller accounts, FTP access, uh, webalizer, etc, etc, that can then be done. Alright, thank you everybody. This concludes the short overview video. Thank you for watching.